Okay, time to face Oxford. Yet again. On with the video. Hello everyone, Canberra Run here, and welcome back to South M23 Swindon Town. So, we're going to face Burton Albion, and we're going to go up against Oxford. The team's directly below and above us, I've just realised in the table. The fixture list has actually been pretty decent. The last time we saw us, we lost 2-0 against Bristol City. Then we got another late late defeat to Forest Green, this time courtesy of Ryan Schofield deciding to punch the ball straight to their striker, who slotted home from close range, which is great, so that now puts in a very perilous position for the Pizza Cup. Not that I really care. Uh, then we went and got a 1-1 draw against Plymouth. Unfortunately, I don't realise how tired Reese Devine was, and he missed Ryan Hardy's... <coughs> he missed a pass for Ryan Hardy's equaliser after Wakeling giving us the lead. Then we got a narrow victory against Cheltenham. I played a very weakened team ahead of a Wednesday game, which Cheltenham were bottom of the league, so it should have been fine. So, then we got a 2-0 victory against Wickham. That was Jacob Wakeling, who was actually starting to score goals now. He's got, let's see, yeah, 12 appearances, 6 goals... He's basically our top scorer at this point. We are kind of still struggling for goals a little bit. And then we kind of pissed it away against MK Dons. We scored early, and then nobody really did anything else. It wasn't impressive. So now we've got to go face Burton. I cannot remember what my team sheet was. Uh, we are not going to play for set pieces. So, where are we? Divine can come in. Uh, Hutton can come in. Lavinia even can come in. Yeah, I need to completely change the team. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, so I'm hoping for big things here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to piss off Saido Khan and play him as a box to box because he he can just basically do what I want him to do. And then we're gonna go with Dylan Watts as the Mez. Darcy can come back in wherever the fuck I put him. Where? No, I just saw him. Darcy at advanced midfielder. So yeah, put him to attacking mid. He's been he's been decent at attack, advanced play, but I can need a bit attacking mid. So Jeff Gone Waking can come in. But actually, what I will do for the moment, because of tiredness reasons, I will leave thinking. Um, that will be fine. I I. Shit, what was my back to? Oh, God. Uh, McDonald and Freena will be fine. We'll give Clayton a little bit of extra rest ahead of the Oxford game, actually. So... Uh, let's see if I can hack it. <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible. All right. Uh, probably seeing this a day later than the last episode, because I'm trying to, like watch the World Cup and get enough sleep from work at the same time. I'm doing this. I skipped out the Croatia-Belgium game just to record this. I've just turned the heating on. It's fucking freezing in here, so give me a second. It looks like I'm shivering a little bit. Whew. Okay. So, we need to have a good game. Oh, God, yeah, that's why I put Dibley Diaz on the bench for his um, first appearance. Don't think I have a fucking um, centre-back, though, on the bench. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think these teams have been... Like, Burn and Oxford are sort of doing better than us, really, overall. <sighs> oh, shit. There goes Darcy for his first... Fourth goal of the season. Yeah, like I said, I want to get all the points now because I've got a big run with, like, Charlton, Portsmouth, Ipswich, um, Bolton, all of, like, the big clubs who are gunning for promotion, and Lane Orient, apparently, who are in second. Which is actually very impressive. You just saw Flash up there. Because I need to, like, p pick up points against some of the teams who are below me before I start, like, hemorrhaging fucking... Oh, shit. Marcel Limini is scoring his first this season. That's... He takes loads of shots. He rarely ever scores. So that's, like, a fucking rarity. Yeah, so you've got Ipswich are leading the pack. Lane Orient, Wigan. Reading Oxford. I'm up to fourth. But then you've got teams like Portsmouth, Bolton... Even just teams like Charlton, Shrewsbury could be diff difficult. Accrington won't be, but teams that I don't wouldn't usually get points against because I don't want to end up in the situation where I'm kind of scratching around for points. If I can get them all now, that'd be great. If I can get in the playoffs, that's great. Even though I don't wouldn't expect to win them, so you know I'm not expecting back to back promotions here. Oh shit! Oh for God's sake, Divine! 
Oh, I don't have Blake Tracy on the bench, do I? Oh, well. He's on a booking anyway. Just means uh, Lavinia is going to have to die on that, die out there later in the game. All right. Hutton it is. Good catch. Actually, just need somewhere better for my Coke. Jesus Christ, Greg. Oh, shit, Reed. We are kind of destroying Burton Albion. And as soon as I fucking say, oh my god, why did I say that? Uh, look at that. Three, five, nine, ten. I mean, I was quite happy to let that trickle into the net, I'm just saying. Oof. I mean, is it Burn Al One sec. Burn Albion's keeper. Yeah, this is the guy that I tried to sign a while back. But he wanted... I think it was the first time I tried to do it. Um, He wanted a guarantee that we'd sign more attackers, which I wasn't prepared to do. Um, And then the second time I tried to do it, he wanted about 9.5k a week when I went back to negotiate. It was fucking ridiculous, basically. So he's gone to Burton Albion. <coughs> Ish. It's, it's been a lot of Burton Albion since uh, we went 3 0 up. Uh. Oh shit, Jeff Cotton was getting a goal there. Oh shit, Lavinia almost getting a second. They are actually getting overrun. I'm going to be a bit cheeky here. Because of course I... I'm just literally just doing this with the corners rather than switch the defenders around. Because the problem is you know I'll forget to do it next time. Ah, that was a waste. Good from Hunt there. Right, I mean, this has been an event. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. What the fuck is that frame rate? Right? Don't do this shit to me. It's been all. It's been mostly Burton Albion, and it's been so eventful in the first half. Come on, I I want the. I need the. I would like the win here. Especially since we've just scored three fucking goals. <sighs> However, one thing I am going to do. We can mark Smith. We can pick up Smith as well. And then... Have to be hot, wouldn't it? We're gonna have to get him to ease off the tackles as well, because obviously he's on a fucking yellow already. I mean, I, let's let's put it this way: after everything that's just happened, I will take a quiet first half, a quiet second half, even. <sighs> yeah, that's gonna be that one. That's miles offside. When that ball came in, he was already in an offside position. Yeah, that won't count. Uh, I'm tempted to go to balanced and try and like keep the game. Uh, Hunt's on six point four as well. I need my mark. Uh, help me.
Yeah. Hutton's been absolutely eaten alive on that left. Basically, all of my problems have started since I had to take off Divine because of injury. So... Yeah. This is fucking painful. Right. Oh, for God's sake, I need to make the subs, but it won't let me make the subs until I restart the game. <sighs> right. Probably a bit crazy, but... <sighs> Completely changed the system. This has been super sucky. Basically, the guy that I needed to be fit did not stay fit for this game. And then he's basically done himself a huge fucking injury. That's fucking disappointing. Because their right, their right winger, Smith, has just eaten... Yeah. Has just eaten hot and alive. And he's done absolutely terribly. That actually stings. Basically, we were doing really, really well. Then Divine went off injured. And Hutton came on and was absolutely ripped apart by Smith. <clears throat> Fucking crazy, that. I don't believe I'll, I would very, very rarely do that. Where is fucking? I can't. I can't. I cannot find Romeo Hutton. Maybe he ran out of the changing rooms. That was re. And we've got to go into playing Oxford now, and I need to see how badly Divine is hurt. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't care about any of that. Right. Oh, shit. <sighs> yeah, not, nothing... Nothing to do with the fact that I lost, like, my best left back. I'm going to go do the post-match press conference and I'll join you for Oxford. As you can see, I'm taking the defeat rather well. All right, it's time to face Oxford. I've got a ton of fitness issues, some injuries, and I have no idea what I'm going to do. So we've got Schofield, Blake Tracy, Clayton, Farino, Lavinia, Reed, Gladwin, Watts, Darcy, Wakeling, and Jeff got. I don't want to... Right, I'm going to take off fucking thing. I'm going to put... Gilby in place of Dibley Diaz. Where's Mac Homer? Sort out this bench because it's not great. Uh, and they'll have to keep Hutton. I mean, the problem is both Hutton and Lavinia have severe fucking problems with their um, fitness at the moment. So I'm going to have to keep on what I can do. If Hutton plays another stinker, I think I might just vlog him in the January. But no, it's. I do need to bring up bring in another right back in January anyway. Because. Um, Hutton keeps disappearing, obviously, to go on duty with Burundi. Let's have a good fucking game and let's not lose badly to Oxford. Please, God. Ugh. I 
Oh, what you do, don't. Don't intercept the ball. Somebody intercept the ball. Fucking idiots. Oh, and then, oh, well, he was a little, uh, I, I don't mean, I don't think he was, but. <sighs> oh, come on, that's so stupid. So, I put on to Mark Murphy, and what it's done. Wait, wait, what? Right, he's off tackles, Mark's specific player. I don't know where that's come from. I didn't do. I didn't do that. I mean, that was close. Came off the bar. See, the problem is Blake Tracy's run all the way up the pitch to get it in, getting his full back on tack. It was something I, I considered last time, but I mean, we've been doing okay. Oof! Good save by Schofield. Darcy can break here if he can make a pass or get this, get it in. Ugh, it's a free kick. I'll deal with it. Yeah, I'm not going to expect my attacking midfielder to come back and mark their set they're holding. Almost from Freno, but it was blocked on the line. I mean, we're trying, but, you know. See, and then that's just poor from Gladwin. This is why he doesn't... Oh, Gladwin came to me complaining about starting, starting time, uh, playing time. I literally just told him... You need to accept you're going to be a squad player. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. I can accept being a squad player, which is fucking really odd. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. That's twice now players have had to come off and I've had to put on somebody else. This is getting annoying now. Because I think they're just... Yeah, okay, we get take that off. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just... We'll, the problem is I've put Mark on them, but I can't mark them, apparently. If I get to half-time, I'll take Freno off. Because he's not being great. He's also on a yellow, so... There we go. Oh, good from the wall to do its job, actually. Good, t good tackle from Blake Tracy. Oh, my roommate's back. Uh, just make that change, actually. I'll have to get, Gil have to get Gilby on as the ball-winning midfielder. Ah, uh, one second. Get everything you needed? Did you get everything you needed? Yeah. Cool, excellent. All right, my roommate just went shopping, so we've got bread and milk now and stuff. We have Yes, we do. Okay. So, we kind of need a goal here. Might be useful. That's not how we get a goal. Just saying, guys. You can go and attack, actually. I can't make any more subs. 
think that's a bug, because he, some of the games I can make four, some of them I can only make three. All right. I mean, I don't really think that was a, foul, a yellow a card worthy foul, but okay. Ugh. That was fucking useless. Everybody was just fucking hitting the ball pointlessly. I am not happy about that. That, that Burton game is going to haunt me more than this one. Because that was some unbelievable shit. Fucking... We were 3-0 up. I lose one player. And that's it. I'm, I'm fucking... Damn right, Forrick Fury. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's, that's a fun one. Just before I leave. Um, leave you. I did approach James Bree. He's got no interest after being released by Luton because we're not going to be able to pay him what he wants, apparently. So, we're going to have to try... I mean, I've got to try and now go, go up against Leighton Orient who are weirdly in third, and then try and get something. And then we've got the FA Cup. Then we got... Oh, God. I think I've got wall-to-wall -wall midweek games for a while now. Yeah, this is... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I've got, like, wall-to-wall -wall midweek games. This is going to be absolutely hell. But we're going to come back for Shrewsbury and Bolton. Well, he's Bolton away. You won't see Bolton at home, you'll see Bolton away. I'm also probably not going to do Oxford at home later because I think we've already had three games against Oxford. So I'm not going to bother with it. But anyway, I'm going to try and salvage um, what's left after this season. I'm a little bit depressed now, trust me. Uh, so you will join me for... Yeah, you'll join me for Shrewsbury and Bolton. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Cam Bear Run, and thank you for watching.